Hey everybody, so I am inspired today because my mother-in-law showed up uh, from out of town and um, she brought me the cutest, as you, as you see, the cutest um, pineapple shaped cutting board ever. So I'm going to try to make this bread look like a pineapple and then the cutting board is going to be the little fronds that come out. It is so cute as you already saw. This loaf right here, um, I tried something new with yesterday. So uh, we'll see how she goes, but I put nutritional yeast in my dough. I put um, 20 grams of like flaked nutritional yeast in my dough and I did that during my auto lease, which I'm not sure if that was a great idea or if I should have left it um, and added it more towards the end because let me tell you what, this dough was like the stickiest nightmare to work with ever. Um, I ended up having to add like a little bit more um, flour to it just to get it to not be a big ball of glue. So I probably added about maybe 20 grams or more of, of flour. I, I didn't measure it, I just kind of um, just did it by feel. But it was, it smells so good, it smells just like nutritional yeast, but um, it was so gluey feeling, it was just, it was kind of out of control. So I think next time if I do this, and I recommend that if you do put nutritional yeast in your dough, that maybe try, try doing it later, like after it's, it's done a lot of the work, like maybe in some of the stretch and folds. I don't know, honestly. If this turns out good, maybe do it this way. Just add a little bit more um, flour when you uh, when you're making the dough. I don't know why it changed the consistency of it. I am no scientist, but it definitely had a huge effect on how sticky it was. If any of you uh, scientists out there or know the answer to that or nutritionists or whoever would know the answer to that, feel free to chime in here because I'm sure people would like to know what, why it changed. So I'm just gonna mark out the little uh, segments of the pineapple. Actually, I saw this in one of the groups the other day, one of the sourdough groups that I'm in. And hi, if you're in one of those groups, I love you guys like so, so much. You are all so supportive, it's, it's crazy. Um, but I saw one with a real pineapple um, frond out the top of it and it was the cutest thing ever and it inspired me. So if that is yours, uh, then kudos to that, it was gorgeous. Um, and then when I saw this cutting board that my mother-in-law bought, I, I had to. I was like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what to do with my bread. My, my family's about to come in, so sorry about all the noise you're about to hear. Hey, Ken, I'm filming. It's okay. <laughs> Just see the look on her face. Uh, we go out and tell them. Okay, so I'm going to start by... Um, very gently scoring the lines. <laughs> so quiet. Sorry, I have other people that live with me called my children. So this is pretty gentle. It's not going super deep. So as you can see, I'm like not hitting my mark perfectly, but it is giving me an idea of where to go. If you're getting dragging with your blade, you can wipe it off. Be careful not to cut yourself. Um, you can get a new blade because sometimes when they get old or if you've used them too many times, they will kind of crap out on you. 
So that one's a little deeper, so it's going to spread a little bit more. Okay, so now I have this wonderful shape here. And I'm going to go in with these little V's. Here. So today I, um, I was like, how does a pineapple really look? Because um, visually I couldn't like really picture how this pineapple should look. So I went and I googled um, pineapple drawings or pineapple images and I found a drawing that had pretty much the same um, shape here. So you can do, I thought, at first I thought I was going to do little X's in the middle. But then when I saw that drawing, I thought, oh, this is cute. I'll do these little V's. I guess they're upside down V's. So I'm excited to try this because if you saw my other videos, you know that I'm a freak for nutritional yeast and I'm excited to see what this flavor turns out. We got kind of like a cold front here, so our nice warm days and my quick fermenting bread, those, those days are gone for <laughs> right now. They'll be back, but um, this took like forever to proof yesterday. I feel like I'm spoiled with the quick fermenting. So it's just probably out on my countertop for like a good eight hours. See how deep I got right here, so it's opening up really wide. Okay, so that's gonna be it for right now. I'm gonna pop her in the oven. Don't explode. And uh, I'll pull her out and I'll show you guys what she turned out like. Thanks for watching.